All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we are going to be in the 168 pound division where Terrence Crawford gets a warning and a warning from a dude that has every bit of ability to follow through on what he's saying. <laughs> and that is Demetrius Boo Boo Andre, who tells Terrence Crawford. Do not come up here and get effed up. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're going to be in the 168 pound division where we're going to have a very, very good fight coming up. For certain. And that is a fight between David Bene Benavides and Demetrius Boo Boo Andrade. I've been saying Andrade for so long because that is the way the name is pronounced usually. But Demetrius Boo Boo Andrade and B Demetrius Boo Boo Andrade, man, tells Terrence Crawford something very direct, very sharp, and something, in my personal opinion, that Terrence Crawford would not be able to do anything about in a ring with the guy that said it. And this is at a weight class where Terrence Crawford says he wants to become an undisputed champion. Now, before I get into the details of it, though, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, Thank you so much for your continued support. It really does make a huge difference to the channel. But let's get into this because, um, look, man, Terrence Crawford wants to go up to 168 and he's pounds and he's calling out Jermel Charlo. I mean, he's calling out Canelo Alvarez, who was the undisputed champion at 168, holding all four of the major belts, the WBA, the IBF, the WBO, and the WBC. Demetrius Andre is asked about what he thinks about Terrence Crawford fighting Canelo Alvarez. And Demetrius Andre said, uh, Andre says, don't do it. Don't come up here and get effed up. And his logic is this. He says, look, Terrence Crawford is an excellent fighter. He's an excellent fighter. Uh, highly skilled. But there's also he's also nowhere near as big and strong enough to fight in his division, and he adds that there are other people that are very big, that are that are also very very skilled, and I think that for the sake of um, Terrence Crawford's career not in his in his resume and his accomplishments not be not being thrown in the trash can like people are trying to do with Jermel Charlo because Jermel Charlo cannot effectively compete with Canelo Alvarez. Um, there is a high, there is a good likelihood that that is the case with Canelo, with, uh, Terrence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez as well. So that along with the fact that Canelo already said, he's not going to do it is, uh, and the, and that there is a perfectly great fight for Terrence Crawford. If he gets past Errol Smith Jr. Again, there's a perfectly great fight for him, uh, that is at 147 pounds, the division that he's in with an up and coming fighter that could be a future Hall of Fame. That's a Hall, future Hall of Fame level talent fighter in Jerron Ennis. There's no real need to bark up that tree and continue to bark up that tree. When we can bark up, we, we don't have to bark up a tree. The tree is right there. It's right there. The 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 squirrel that the dog is barking for is right on the ground. It's easy to have. Let's get that um, in the fight with. Terrence Crawford and uh and Jerron Ennis. So, what's the truth behind this? First of all, Canelo Alvarez is a very skilled fighter. Canelo Alvarez is not a A, he's not a B-level fighter. He ain't a C-level fighter. He ain't an A-level fighter. He's an A-plus level fighter, period. And he is somebody. So, and he would definitely be. The most skilled fighter that can, that Terrence Crawford had ever fought, and it that will not be the case if for Canelo Alvarez himself. Let me repeat: 
That will be the most skilled fighter that, that Terrence Crawford has ever fought. And that would not be the case for Canelo Alvarez, who is also who has fought a more skilled fighter and or at least equally skilled fighter, but more than likely more skilled fighter in Floyd Mayweather Sr. I mean, Floyd Mayweather Jr. So there is though the, the idea that Terrence Crawford is going to present things that Canelo Alvarez has never seen. More than likely, that's not the case. But like Abel Sanchez says, and like what Brian Matt, what um, Demetrius Andre say, is that Terrence Crawford is definitely going to get presented with something that he's never seen, which is somebody he's not going to hurt with a shot. It's not going to work. He's not that big a puncher. Knocking out people at 147 and knocking out 175 pounders, 160 former world champions at 175 and 168, it's not the same thing. And yes, there are people that are gassing him up, like that are going to gas him up to that. But more than likely, man, it's not going to go well. Um, it's not going to go well for Terrence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez. And Demetrius Andre saying it, which is, and here's the thing. If you're going to go to 168 pounds, then you should be, and this is just my, this is my belief as a, as a fan. And I said this about Canelo and I've said this about everybody else that flitters up. I even said it about Roy Jones Jr. If you're going to go to a weight, if you're going to go to a weight class and become the champion, you should be going to that weight class because you're going to defend as a champion. One thing that you can say about Canelo Alvarez as far as him versus every other undisputed champion except for Devin Haney, well, I guess Devin Haney defended it twice and Canelo Alvarez has now defended it his undisputed title three times. Other undisputed champions either drop the belts or they don't defend him at all and they move up. So what good does that do boxing for Terrence Crawford to go to 168, fight Canelo Alvarez, and even if he won, to not to campaign and not to fight the other guys, which brings into question what Terrence Crawford's going to do with guys that aren't even champions. And the big three, to me, are David Benavides, Demetrius Andrade, and David Morrell. David Morrell and Terrence Crawford is probably a mismatch just based off size between those guys. And I know people say size don't size doesn't win, skills win. Yeah, but skill with size is better than skill without size. A great big man will beat a great little man. And you may have to resort to the extremes to see it and say, okay, Gervonta Day or Shakur Stevenson's a great little man at 135. And you have Alexander Usyk, who was a who was a very, very good big man at heavyweight. Shakur Stevenson is not going to make it the distance with that man. His skills ain't going to get him out of that. Once that big man's skill get beyond a certain level. Other, if that, if that was the case and skills and sports was everything and size was nothing, you'd be having a bunch of five foot two centers in the NBA. And it ain't going to happen. But look, man, I know that there are people, there's two schools of people that are pushing this fight. One are the people that really ride with Terrence Crawford and God bless you. The other people are the ones that are saying that really want Terrence Crawford beat and hurt. And to them, I can't ride with you. I got to tell you the truth. Now, before I did think, as I see it, the truth as I see it, before I did think that Terrence Crawford had an, had had the ability to beat Canelo Alvarez. But after seeing the Jamel Charlo fight and really seeing the uh, just it, it, when Canelo was fighting a smaller guy, exactly how much stronger and how much harder he hit and how his what kind of shots he can take from somebody that is 154 and and you cannot tell me that you don't believe that you do not know that Jermel Charlo will knock some people out with the very same shots they hit Canelo that he hit with Canelo hit Canelo with before but anyway that's my take on the matter you let me know what you think in the comment section and with that I'm out peace Thank you.